Hi, this is James Kendrick with JKOnTheRun.com, a gig on site, with a look at the HP Mini 2140 Enterprise Class Netbook. Just received this yesterday, well, a couple days ago, I guess now. It is a very nice constructed netbook. And you'll have to excuse me. This is a brand new camera. I'm testing it for the first time, so I may be uh, going in and out of, not focus, but out of the screen a little bit. But anyway, 10.1 inch screen, 1 gig of RAM, 160 gigabyte hard drive, Atom processor, Windows XP Home Edition, uh, SP3, Service Pack 3, is what it's running. Right now I have attached to it the six cell battery. This particular unit ships with both a three cell and a six cell battery. I'm so far getting about seven hours of runtime with this six cell battery, about three hours with the three cell, so it's pretty good. What sets this unit apart is this beautiful keyboard. It's 92% full size. It is fully touch typable. I'm off at a little bit of an angle so you can see but it types very, very well. It's got the little touchpad, which is extra wide. Buttons on the side, some people don't like that. I don't seem to mind. I'm finding it's very snappy. Let's open up my computer. Give you a little bit of an example of how fast things happen. As you can see, things are going pretty, pretty quickly when I click. Things happen. I'm finding it pretty snappy. It's that 160 gig hard drive there. Things happen pretty fast. So let's give you a quick look at normal things like browsing the web. This is Firefox. This is the JK on the Run website. There's a little scroll area in the trackpad here. As you can see, I can easily scroll up and down. I normally put F11, which is full screen mode, so that I maximize the uh, 1024 by 600 resolution screen, which is typical for 10 inch netbooks. Now this unit is going to be shipping with a ultra high resolution option, probably in April or May, 1366 by I think 780 which is going to be pretty nice, but it's not available yet, and that's why I don't have an evaluation of it. Uh, but anyway, this 1024 by 600 is working pretty well. As you can see, gives you a nice little uh, browsing experience. It's on Wi-Fi. This has uh, 802.11, I think it's A, B, G, and N, and it comes with Bluetooth 2.0. It's webcam up here it's very well tricked out and available as of today i think for 4.99 so pretty good now a lot of people ask how does it play video let's i'm in hulu right now let's play this so you can get a look at it nice audio nice uh Okay, let's go to full screen. Actually plays video on Hulu pretty well. YouTube, not so much, but I think that's more a YouTube thing than anything else. Anyway, we don't want to watch all of that, do we? Of course not. How do I get out of full screen? There we go. But you can see things are happening pretty fast and snappy. Um, I'll, let me try YouTube just to let you see how that works. I'm going to do just regular quality YouTube if I can get there. Looks like YouTube's a little slow today. Of course, we're on video. That always happens, right? Sure it does. But, i tell you what, let's forget that. It's taking too long to get to YouTube today. Oh, there we go. YouTube is very slow. It's normally, it's not the, the, uh, the HP that's slow, it's YouTube. 
I can tell you. I, I've been using this thing. It's more than fast and snappy enough. And this is probably the smallest 10.1 inch netbook on the market. I'm going to give you a little quick tour around it in just a minute. In fact, let's just give up on this. YouTube's too slow. But this is uh, how, it, how it works. I showed you we've got the, uh, the trackpad here. There's a button to actually turn off the trackpad. If you're using an external mouse and you don't want to be brushing up against it, you can turn it off here. The caps lock button is up here, which you may not be able to see. It's really, really teeny tiny up there. You've got a full QWERTY keyboard, which is nice. Like I said, it's running um, Windows XP SP3 Home Edition. Everything happens nice and fast and snappy. Tell you what, let's fire up Google Chrome browser, which uh, runs really fast on the uh, netbook here. Nice and quick. Whoa. Of course, scrolling in Google Chrome is terrible. Anyway, that's just to give you a little fast look at how quick things happen. Now, that's the thing of it. Let's uh, shut it down to sleep. Now on the front of the device here, you've got uh, the, the on-off switch here, hard desk indicator light. You've got the radio on-off switch, which is handy. This side, you've got um, power jack. You've got ethernet jack. You've got a USB port, Kensington security lock, and SD card right here slot which is handy and above that something that only a handful of netbooks have and that's an express card slot for the little express card which is really handy if you're using a, a, a uh, an express card 3G modem for example. This side you've got the VGA out port that's a vent for heat USB port which is powered so this thing will drive a external DVD drive for example without power because it'll draw power from here and then you've got the audio in and out jack nothing on the back because you've got the uh, big battery a lot of people some people don't like that but I'll show you here if you'll excuse me like I said it also ships with the uh, three cell battery which is nice and small I'm not going to put it on because I'd have to hibernate it I don't want to do that now another thing people ask is how big is the power brick not so big it's just this big right here typical on both ends so you've seen that now so basically this is the hp 2140 mini 2140 netbook it's nice and sturdy it's not that heavy easy to grip. I actually like this battery because it's a nice handle to grab onto quite frankly I do that a lot. Now here we have on the back we just got the battery release. This also has HP 3D drive guard which is the drive protector. If you drop it it'll park the heads to save the hard disk from damage. So this has been James Kendrick with jkontherun.com a GigaOM site with a video look at the HP Mini 2140 netbook available today I believe I read online for $4.99 as configured here fully fully loaded so thanks for coming by everybody and we'll see you really really soon